YouTube, it's me, Jan, your Pudgy Picker, here with the first garage sale haul of the year. Yes, not where I expected. <laughs> we got back from uh, Amish country, Holmes County in Ohio, went thrifting, I went, uh, we were going to hit an auction, ended up not working out, but uh, I looked at the town, they had like a magazine I sat and looked at, they had their town, which is Berlin, where we stayed, uh, had their garage sale, uh, I think it was Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, they do it in the spring and they do it in the fall. Didn't know, so guess what I did? I went to 37 garage sales. I will put in the title how much I spent because I can't remember. I think it was 50 some dollars. I don't know. But this is everything you see on the table. I also hit a couple of Goodwills and a couple of thrift stores that are unique to that area. And I also hit a store that is like Price Drop, my Price Drop videos, where they are Amazon warehouse uh, returns and, uh, I don't know, undeliverables. And I paid $2 each item, so I'm going to have videos all this week, <laughs> all this week, uh, on uh, showing you these different hauls. And I'm going to peel back the curtain and let you see. I have lots of junk there and all this stuff here. So yes, being a reseller can be messy. So the car was pretty packed with all of our items plus all of this stuff. I did see a piece of furniture I really liked down there, but nope, wasn't going to happen. So, But it was so nice to get out and go garage sailing. I would say... Almost all of them, maybe one or two, were not Amish. The rest were Amish. So I'm going to be doing a video on things you can find and the differences in the Amish garage sales versus regular garage sales. So I thought that might be fun to learn what kind of things and to see how they live. And it was very fun. Uh, so that will be all this week. you got a lot to look forward to. So it's going to be probably three videos, I'm thinking. But let's jump right in and show you what I got in this one. I did find a lot of fabric, but it was priced higher than I could make any money on. Guys, stop. How dare, how dare somebody walk by the house? So I did find this, and I started looking through it, and I was like, yeah, there's some decent pieces in there. Then I looked at the flap and saw it said free. So I went to pick it up, and she's, the lady says, oh, you're a sewer. And I said, yeah. So I looked around, and I went over, and I gave her a dollar. She goes, no, it had free. And I said, no, no, I'll give you something for it. I felt bad. But I got all of that for free because free is my favorite price. Oh, haven't said that in quite a while. If you watch my garage sale hauls, you will know I always find a free box, and I always try and find something good. But goodness, there's a lot of stuff in there. So yeah, not too bad. Got these two bottoms of stained glass lamps for only a dollar each. Very happy with that. It did have light bulbs with them. I did check them. They do work. I'm always picking up stained glass tops, and I'm always picking up uh, stained glass bottoms. So I always have a variety to kind of put together and resell. So definitely happy with that. Got this wine rack. It was three dollars. It holds what? Two, four, six bottles. Very cute. Love the wrought iron and the wood. So that will go out to my booth. Got this adorable little container. I think I paid 50 cents. I'm hoping it holds water because I will put some lucky bamboo in there. Eiffel Tower was a dollar. This mug, I think I only paid maybe a quarter or 50 cents for it. It says 10 cents. Ooh, even less. It says go away, winner. <laughs> so, put that out later. Got these adorable little snowmen. They are, what do you call, jewelry, trinket boxes. Uh, uh, they're 50 cents each. They are Lennox, so I will look these up. They're in very good condition, but 50 cents each for the two of them. Or a pill container, whatever you want to call them. That's what they are. Got this very narrow fat piggy. Isn't he cute? 50 cents. Found the cork on the floor, put it back in, it's all good. Got this key, metal keychain holder. It is the wrought iron, it's pretty heavy. I only paid a dollar. Got this adorable bunny for a quarter. Got this fish for a quarter. See, this is why I love garage sailing, because you can find stuff at such a low price. It's, you know, for the most part. 
I got three of the perfumes. Two on the left are from Bath and Body Works. The one on the right is Victoria's Secret. They were all a dollar. I sell these for four to five dollars and they go like hotcakes. So I have a little area that's got a vanity tray and I put all my perfume, perfume bottles, all that kind of stuff on there. So those will go to my booth. I have sold this item, this particular style, before. It is a stained glass lamp of a lighthouse. Very good condition. It does not have a battery, or not a battery, a uh, light bulb. So I paid $5 for that. So that will probably go into the booth for $16 to $20, I'm guessing. Um, I found this little tag you can put on a wine bottle. It says, when wine goes, in wisdom comes out. <laughs> Depends on how much wine, I guess. And that was only 49 cents. Did find some old books. Not sure if I'm going to resell these or I'm going to use them to make something else. This is called The Bow of Orange Ribbon. This one, I think, is from the early 1900s. And then these two are uh, hymns books. And they were a dollar each. And then just look at the, the age on these. I have made, uh, haven't made them in a while, uh, my music wreath, music sheet wreath. So I might do that as a tutorial and might just sell that in my space. This I thought was cool. I don't know any kids and it's ripped, but for 50 cents, if you look at this, see if it'll show up on camera. Since it's kind of an optical illusion, it might not. Yeah, you can't see it, but there's animal. Oh, wait a minute. See how they look like they're moving? So there's a horse and then a chicken. I thought I could maybe frame these or something. You got a dog and a cat and a bird and a monkey and a butterfly. Isn't that cool? I thought for 50 cents, oh, this one's turtles. Look at that. So yeah, I'm gonna figure something out on that. Um, these items were all for re. Because again, free is my favorite price. <laughs> so I found two sets of leg warmers, some brand new uh, orange peely things, a couple of little duckies, and I found a little baby Amari. That's from Avon. So I'll probably put that in my booth for like a buck or something. My mother, that was her favorite scent. So I always, when I smell it, I think of her. She loved Amari. Um, let's see, just don't wanna miss anything. And I got this sign stand that is uh, chalk, the chalkboard paint, and it's metal on the bottom, and it was 75 cents. Um, I'm always picking up vanity trays. They do sell really well for me, but it's one of those hit and miss items. I don't think I have any in my booth now. I usually have at least four or five. I put, like I said, perfume or other little figurines on them. They don't take up any space because they're under items, and they always sell, and they sell 10 to 12 dollars easily. Got this piece of wood that says family. That was 50 cents. I uh, found this African mask. This was not at an Amish home, by the way. Uh, it was $7, so I'm going to clean and polish that up real good and put that in my booth. I'm trying to see where it was made. So that will go in my booth. Got made this cheapy looking uh, mirror. Tank. It was how much? $3. Got some shoelaces, because I always need those. These were 10 cents each, and there was 10 of them, so I got them. I don't do, I don't get HGTV magazine anymore, so I thought that would be fun to flip through. Got an Ikea lamp for $3. I sell, I've sold these many times over. This very pretty brass lantern, the, it was hung up by the, by the chain. Not sure if I'm going to use that. It was only $2. And I got this reusable uh, battery-operated candle for a dollar. It's got a nice carving on it. And the rest of these candles are for me. I found a lot of good candles. Uh, 25, 25 cents, 50, uh, 75, a dollar, and a dollar fifty. Let's say about half of them are not burned. I'm always looking for candles, and I don't like to pay a lot of money, so those are mine. What else, what else, what else? Oh, I did manage to get this, these two as well, two magazines. Uh, I think I paid it again, a dime for these. And then I got this for my neighbor as a gift. He uses small bags for trash. He doesn't have a lot of trash cans. It's just him and his doggy. 
So I thought if he, uh, I usually give him my, uh, what do you call it? My, uh, the handle grocery bags, but they're starting to get rid of those again. Now that the pandemic is over, they're going back to saying, nope, either we got to charge you or we don't hand them out at all. So I thought this would be something nice. Actually, I think I might've got this at a thrift store. Yeah, I think I did. But here's basically what it is. You just hang it on a cabinet door and then put your stuff in it. So I don't know, maybe he could use that. But I believe that is all that I found. Uh, again, more videos coming. Keep your eyes peeled. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What would you pick up? What would you leave behind? I always ask that because I like seeing what you guys are thinking. So I appreciate you tuning in. Keep, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed, this is the week to do it. Also click the notification bell because I, like I said, two to three videos at least this week to get all of this stuff shown to you so I can get it put away and priced and taken out to my space. So I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.